Gåsur is a Norwegian word. Ada Chesney, what a story. I have produced a record, a pure, authentic country record, with an American singer-songwriter. His name is um, Ronnie Joseph Chesney, and his artist name is R.J. Chesney. It's going to be released in April, but already there has been an sensational response to that record, both in America and in Europe, such as Belgium, Germany, England. I have composed the music and he has written the lyrics and he is performing the music and it's produced in Bergen. But the fantastic thing is here that what we're going to see now is my very, very first conversation with this great guy. Get goosebumps. Hi. Hi, oh, good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, RJ. Thanks for having me. Oh, really looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. What's RJ? up, Jason? How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice, nice to see, see you. Me. Come on in. Okay. Let's go in. Um, how about you want to do that one? That guitar? Yeah. Yeah. And I got chills. Dude. I just got chills because I, I wrote that line without knowing that at all. Welcome. Thanks. It's fantastic to meet it's you. It's a pleasure Great. to meet you. I already prayed with you. That was amazing. Uh, it was fun. It very, made me very nervous, I must admit. Very, very beautiful. Very nice first take. I, I messed the so very end up. The very end you messed up. That's okay. Uh, I, think we can, I think we can do another one. Just practice. Just practice. Yeah. Make sure he knows the ending. Uh, yeah. And your angel voice will sing. There'll come a day. Fragile stuff. The rain so, is so fun. fragile. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. I heard this song for the first time a couple of weeks ago, and, uh, and uh, very rarely I get so extremely moved by, by a simple song. It was really. Really knocked me out in many ways. And then when I heard the story around the whole thing, it's wow. Yeah. It's yeah. uh, really fantastic. So uh, maybe you want to tell a little about it. About how the song came about? Yeah. The rest of um, well, I, uh, about nine years ago, I lost my lover to suicide. Um, I was on my way to Denver to work a job as a, a bartender. Yeah. And I got the news outside of uh, Denver and uh, my friend drove me all the way back to Los Angeles. And um, there were these torrents of grief that would just come out of me at times and I would get very calm and she would hold my hand and play music for me. And we finally made it back to Los Angeles hours later and it was like my world had just exploded. And um, I um, finally, you know, I, I laid down in bed uh, and I was able to get some sleep and I woke up the next morning and instead of my lover being there, there was my pen and paper. And um, I wrote, um, rest now, sweet angel. If I have to continue living without you, then you have to promise me not to suffer no more. Rest now, your journey is over. Rest upon that peaceful shore Rest now, your journey's over Your spirit free, suffer no more Do not wait for me, sweet angel Do not burden those hard-earned wings you just fly into the light now 
and release all earthbound pain. Rest now, your journey's over. Rest upon that peaceful shore. Rest now, your journey's over. Your spirit free, suffer no more. Well, you die on Easter Sunday under a cloudless sun-drenched sky. You heard a call, your last breath taken. There was no time to say goodbye. Rest now, your journey's over. Rest upon that peaceful shore Rest now, your journey's over Your spirit free, suffer no more And do not mourn for me, sweet angel, or this path I walk alone. There'll come a day the band starts playing, and your angel voice will sing me home. There'll come a day the band starts playing. And your angel voice will sing me home. His father was a a preacher, and uh, his father was out of his life for 10 years. He left home at a very young age. And loved his family more than anything. And in November, he died on Easter Sunday, just like the song says. Well, the November before, his family came to Los Angeles. He was from Mexico, as I said. And they saw him for three days. He had an amazing time with them. You know, uh, he called me and told me how they were doing. And at the end of the three days, his brother and his father took him into a room and said, uh, I want you to come back to the church and deny your homosexuality and he said no and they said um, well we never want to see you again and they walked back out of his life to me the biggest tragedy was that his parents never understood the beautiful soul that they brought into this earth and now it's become a celebratory song for me it's not sad anymore to me Um, Because no matter what, whether we lose somebody through old age or suicide or or some tragic accident, um, we have to go on. Uh, That's true. Because if we give up, then who's there for the generations below us? My nieces and my nephews. So you have to be diligent with it. And so I was a warrior to stay well, to say, I'm not going to let the challenges that we have in life and the oppression that we have from other people destroy me. Other people may go out like that, but not me. I'm not going out like that. Should we check the tape? Let's take a listen. Yeah, let's listen to it. Rest now, your journey's over. Rest upon that peaceful show. Rest now, your journey's over, your spirit free, suffer no more. Well, you die on Easter Sunday 
Under a cloudless sun-drenched sky You heard a call Your last breath taken There was no time To say goodbye Rest now Your journey's over Rest upon That peaceful shore Rest now, your journey's over, your spirit free, suffer no more. Do you think the music was a good therapy? Oh, it was, it was what uh, kept me in line and kept me focused and on being as healthy as possible. Being able to, to put it down in, into words and into music and then to be able to play these songs and get up and the first time, you know, singing Rest Now Live was quite an emotional experience for me. It was the first was song I sang professionally. Was it? Yeah, in front of a, a, a big audience. What? And uh, um, it was just overwhelming because the song was so well received. And um, it, it made me very, it made me very happy. You know, it made me very happy to know that that people, and, and the song has gone out and touched many people. You know, um, I got a, a, a an email from a guy in Australia, in the outback of Australia, and he says that he gave his brother his iPod, and he was listening to songs throughout the night, and he said his brother heard this one song and he didn't know who the artist was and he wrote down the words and he was convinced that that song saved his life and he said if my brother um, survives he wants to know if he can sing your song with our band and um, you know I was able of course to say yes and um, several months later I heard that he survived against the odds and they in fact played the song in the outbacks of Australia. And so, when I'm on stage, I'm always clear to say, this song is about suicide. Not to shock the audience, not to gain their uh, sympathy, but it's not a shameful subject. No, no. You know? It's something that you have to speak about. Otherwise, that person died in vain. Mm. Well, they go on a, a hell of old Carter, Carter families, early Carter family stuff. Early Carter family? Oh. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what the thing about is so heavy stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, there's no telephone line to Jesus and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And all that. But that music that is so wonderful that how oh, is it possible? Almost, right. uh, almost like a, a proof that there is a God somewhere. The music yeah. is such a. Necessary medicine for yeah. people, and I, I can have hope. Must put in to make it yeah. as, as magical as it can be for, it, with those fucking dark lyrics. Yeah, it's funny because um, you know Carter family. They've been you know that most of that stuff happened in like 1920s, right? Yeah. Originally and, and forward, uh, and um, my niece, I have a young niece and nephew, and a few years ago I sang "You Are My Sunshine" to my niece. And, uh, you know, I didn't think, oh, it's not going to have any effect on her. I didn't think too much about it. And a year later, she says, will you sing You Are My Sunshine to me? And um, so I sang it for her again. And then... Um, I would love to hear that one. Uh, it's pretty. <laughs> no, no. I'm stopping it right there. Just to tell you, this was the first meeting between H.P. Gunderson and uh, R.J. Chesney in uh, sunny California. Uh, back in October 2015. This could have been the end of the story, but it's not. If you knew H.P. Gunderson, you would know why. Let's see. You know, I was driving to work th in Malibu and I got a text um, from my niece, who's now nine, ten, eleven, uh, and my nephew, she says, well, Drake, my nephew wants you to sing a song for him. And uh, 
I had pulled over to the side of the road and I just started crying because to know that you forget, you know, when you're a child, the impact that an adult can have on you. And this song that's uh, almost 100 years old or whatever, 80 years old, you know, could have a power effect on these kids. And then what really just reduced me to a flood of tears is I get another text and it's my nephew singing the entire song back no. to me. And I just lost it. I just lost it. I never met the person that has been so, so uh, emotional about uh, what he does. It's, uh, I've never seen anything like it. It was a really, really strong, strong experience for myself to see that in real time and hearing him singing out his struggles like he does and how brave he was and everything. We wrote this song, I wrote this lyric after I got back from Bergen. So I gotta thank the people of Bergen for this song because it's the first song I wrote after I got back to Los Angeles. Um, it's called Amateur Revolution because I was in love with the word amateur because the original meaning of amateur is for the love of. And what greater thing to do something for than for the love of. There's a passion for what we do and keep ourselves charged up and in life and uh, keep the negativity away, because there's a lot of that out there too. So, um, this is called Amateur Revolution. muscles has to be involved. I can't control it. See you next time.